Good afternoon YouTube. This is my fifth attempt at making this video. I have people phoning me right in the middle of my video saying would you like to change your gas and electric supplier and then I have my mummy phone. She's not too well at the moment so love you mum. Hope you feel better soon. Now what I'm attempting to do is to show you the next 170 odd copies of my bees in my lovely Blu-ray collection. So let's see if we can get through as quick as we can. I might say a few words about some of them, but let's see how it goes because I'm starting to show the strain of getting interrupted. Firstly, B Girl, 50p, haven't seen it. Babadook, disappointed in that. Baby Driver, £5, still £10 in CEX, major bargain in my opinion. Babylon AD. Now I am a Vin Diesel fan, so I did definitely enjoy that. Back to the Future Trilogy. Who are you if you ain't got this? Backup plan. 50p worth that. Just. Now as you see, I'm gonna have a nice big pile. I've got four massive piles here, so next we have Backdraft. Absolute classic. Looks amazing in high def. I think I saw that at the cinema at least twice. Bad Blood. Sean Bean. You know the missus like Sean Bean. Next. Bad Boys. I used to have the double pack. But somebody offered me more than I paid for it. So I sold it on. I want to get them in the steel book at some point. But I'll get the second one as well. Bad Lieutenant. The Harvey Keitel version of this. Is the original so to me a much much better reviews and this is one of those Nicholas Cage I need money type films if you ask me which translated means not very good and I'm going to keep fiddling with this because these piles are so big I don't want them falling over bad neighbors bad neighbors too I enjoyed them Seth Rogen used to really uh, um, Step up his character acting, I think. You're alright, but you, you play the same fat idiot every time. Bad Santa. Bad Santa too. If you have not seen them, get them. Hilarious. Crude as hell, but hilarious. Bangkok Dangerous, another I Need Money film from Nicolas Cage. Bangkok Bound. 50p, never heard of it. But I think there's some good from um, good fights in that. Badger Fury. Everyone likes Jet Lee. I, mean, I hope you do at least. Bad teacher. Bit of Cameron Diaz being naughty. Works for me. The bank job. Jason Statham. This is actually quite good. You think to yourself, mm, but it's good. I recommend that one. Next, Barbarossa. I've been picking up a lot more of these like ancient Game of Thrones style films lately. Um, they are quite cheap normally and it's good to have them in your collection when you're bored really. Next we have Barely Lethal. Never read of it, it was 50p and it's got Jessica Alba in it, what are you going to do? Baseline. Again, I think this is a British one, never heard of it anyway. Basic Instinct. No. Nah. You can't tell me you haven't paused that scene where she uncrosses her legs on that chair. If you say you haven't, you're lying. Batman Begins. Batman Gotham Knight. This is one of the only like anime ones I've got. Uh, a lot of people seem to have it in their collections when I watch them, and so I thought I'd pick it up. And Batman. Give me a second. One pile moved and not knocked over. Here comes another one. Next we have Batman Returns. Batman Forever. Yeah. Batman vs Superman. Now, I want the 3D version of this, but it's still too expensive. It's not a film worth investing that much into, in my opinion. But I've got it. 
Battle of Wits. I've picked up a few more of these like Chinese action films lately as well. Just want to flesh my, flesh out my collection really. Battle of Los Angeles. I enjoyed that. Battleground. No idea. It's 50p. A bit of action. Looks good. Then we have Battleship. Loads of explosions. I, I really enjoyed it. So, I've got the still book. Be Kind Rewind. Jack Black. Beastly. The advert looked good. I haven't watched it yet. Beautiful creatures. Beautiful creatures. No idea. Have you watched it? Let me know. Beauty and the Beast. If you haven't got that, why? And well, we, we will know about this one. I really enjoyed this. Um, 3D is quite good. You've got to have a good TV to make it really come out, though. Next, we have Bedtime Stories. Again, Adam Sam, and I'm a real fan. B Movie. Jerry Seinfeld. I like that film. Beetlejuice. Classic. If you, if you haven't got this, <laughs> my bother. Classic film. And Before I Go to Sleep. Now, this has got Nicole, Nicole Kidman, Colin Firth, and Mark Strong. Mark Strong is Merlin in The Kingsman, and we all know Colin Firth in The Kingsman. That's the main reason why I bought it. I haven't watched it yet, though. And the next pile. Before the Devil Knows You're Dead. Haven't watched it yet. Hopefully it's good. Beginners. No idea. Behind Enemy Lines. I only bought that because I like Gene Hackman. I, I, I don't like Aaron Wilson. Behind the Candelabra. Now, Michael Douglas, Matt Damon. Don't go all gay weird on us or anything. This is brilliant. It's so funny. I highly recommend that one. Being AP is just a documentary about a jockey that I picked up really cheap. Next we have Bellamy. He's in the Twilight films. It's the only reason I've got it. Ben Hur. Still prefer the original with Charlton Heston, even though he's a pillar. He's a gun control crap. But yeah, at least. This is uh, quite well made, I suppose. Beneath the Dark. Horror is my weak genre, as I've said before. So I'm really trying to beef it up with anything I can, really. Beowulf. CGI. Well done film. Ray Winston's one of the voices in it. <coughs> Next. Beowulf and Grendel. And Beowulf and Grendel. Different covers, is there any reason I've got them? Don't ask me why. The best erotic Marigold Hotel. The only reason I've got that is because Judy Dench is in it and she rocks. Mind you, not in the same way that Helen Mirren rocks. Best laid plans, now the British one, the gangster one. The best of me it was 50p. What can I say? Beyond a reasonable doubt, Michael Douglas, good film. Why have I saved it? And the BFG. The original cartoon. Been watching this for years. It's brilliant. I haven't got the remake yet, the live action remake. It's something I do want to pick up, but I'm not going to paint through the nose for that one. Really not. I don't know, Paul. Big. <coughs> Tom Hanks, classic. Can't go wrong. Then we got series one. You know what I'm going to do here, don't you? Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, 
9 and 10 of the Big Bang. Now, I don't think the Series 11 will be out until roughly September time anyway, so I can wait. The Big Blue, Jean Reno, uh, Leon is in this. It's supposed to be really good. I've, I've seen the advert for years and years. I just never actually got around to watching the film. Big fat important movie. You know it's cheap when it's 50p and it's taking the piss out of other films. The Big Game. Disappointed Samuel. The Big Hero 6. Oh, I love this film. If you haven't seen it, get your eyes on it now. It's brilliant. Especially in 3D. The Big Hit. Mark Wahlberg. Bit of a sleeper hit this one. Um, you, You've got to watch it. That's it. you got to. Big Lebowski, everyone knows the reputation of this film. It's supposed to be amazing. Still haven't watched it, but I'm, just, I'm glad it's in my collection now. Big Miracle, saving a whale, who cares? Um, Big Mama's House, Big Mama's House 2, Big Mama's House 3. Martin Lawrence has got to pay the bills as well, isn't it, I suppose? Let's get this pile over there without knocking anything off. Now, if these aren't in order, my apologies because, like I said at the start, this is the fifth attempt of actually filming this, so I'm, a, I'm on the edge basically. The Big Short, I enjoyed that, definitely enjoyed that. Don't you fall over. Big Trouble in Little China, but bear in mind, I'm filming this on the 8th of February. Zavi have got this as a still book on pre order right now for $17.99. You go anywhere with the already released steelbook right now, you're talking 50 quid. So get over to Zavi, see if it's still available. Might be sold out, but worth a chance. But awesome film, Kurt Russell. The Big Wedding, another cheapie, cost me 50p. <sighs> What's that? Birdman. I love Michael Keaton. I still haven't watched this yet, so I'm just glad I've got it and it's there available if I need it. Black Death, another one of those old ones. Sean Bean, so two birds, one stone, really there. Black Hawk Down. I recently sold my still book of that. I got £22 for it, and it's still about 15 at CEX, so I thought I got quite a good price out, and I only paid like six. Black Rock, bit of a thriller going on there, so haven't actually watched him yet. Black Sheep. Now, for anyone who knows the films like Bad Taste, um, oh, what's the other one? Meet the Feebles. It's like Australian black humour. Funny. Please tell me if. If anyone knows, is Bad Taste out on Blu-ray anywhere in the world? Please tell me. Oh, classic film. Oh, my Derek and Derek's Don't Run. If you know that quote, you know you're a fan of the film. Black Swan. I love Natalie Portman. The Blair Witch Project. I was one of the first hundred people in the world to actually see this. I was at a premiere. The press was there and everything. And when it finished, not one person got up. They were all just like, nobody moved. It was really weird. But I enjoyed it. And then the newer version, I haven't even watched yet. Next we have Blazing Saddles. If, if you ever see on my channel that I've died, it's because I've watched the farting scene in this again. It does me in every time. I literally piss myself laughing. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, watch that film. Bleed for this. Now, I saw the advert for this and it looked bloody good. So I'm looking forward to seeing it. But anyone who's seen it, tell me what you think of it. The Blind Side. Now, I like Sandra Bullock, but I haven't watched it yet. And that's based on a true story as well. So it intrigues me. Blitz. Jason Statham. Enough, enough said, really. Blood. Another cheap action thrillery thing. Blood Diamond. I like Leonardo. He gets up his own arse a bit, but still haven't watched it, though. Blood Out. 
Luke Goss. Now, if any of you remember Bross, yes, that's one of the brothers. Oh, my family's claim to fame. My sister went on Kilroy and got a Valentine's card from Bross. Never heard the end of it. Now it's like 30 odd years ago, near enough. Blood, The Last Vampire. I just want some more gore in me collection, you know. Blue Valentine, never heard of it. That's 50p. Wow. Blunt Force Trauma. How can you not buy a film that's called Blunt Force Trauma? And then The Boat That Rocks. I got this from a League of Friends for a pound. I haven't watched it yet, but it looks good. Here comes another one. We're almost there. Body of Lies. I enjoyed this. Bolt. My missus hates this film. I quite enjoyed it. Some of the comedy elements good, but I can't watch it when she when she's around, so I haven't watched it for ages. Bonded by Blood. Yeah, another one of those cheapy thrillers. The Book of Eli. I love Denzel Washington. There's not much he does wrong. 50p. I don't understand with wrestlers. You know, well, The Rock's the only one who's really done it good in it. So. Born to raise how, as I said, Steven Seagal's head is so far up his own arse. Bound. Never heard of it. But I like Christopher Walken, so. Bounty Hunter. I like Gerard Butler, but. Yeah. Doesn't really do romantic comedy that well. Just keep shooting North Koreans in the head. Born Identity. Classic. Born Supremacy. Mm. Born Ultimatum. Born Legacy. I enjoyed the Legacy. Jason Bourne is in my J's because I'm just that way. To me, it's a totally different film. It's in my J's and that's where it's staying. Bounty Killer. I thought I'd go for something a bit tacky. Can I watch it though? The Box. I like the look of this on the advert, but I still haven't watched it. So, anyone seen this? Tell me, should I be watching it tonight, you know? Box Trolls. 3D as well. Uh, I enjoyed the look of it by the advert, but I haven't watched it yet. Yes, it's another one. Ooh. Boyhood. I picked it up simply because of how it was filmed. It took, what, 15 years to film it? So I will watch it one day, but you you know when you got a brown ground breaking film, you want to have it in your collection really. The boy next door, Jennifer Lopez again. Stephen Dorff break. Maybe he's trying to be like Kiefer Sutherland. I don't know, but I haven't watched it yet. Brave. I enjoyed this. It's still expensive in three D though. I do want to get it in 3D, but it's not at any expense. The Brave One. I heard good things. Jodie Foster is cool. A bit too political, Wolf, if you ask me, but I haven't seen it yet. John Hughes, Awesome Breakfast Club. Now, my favourite film of all time is Some Kind of Wonderful. It's a John Hughes film, but it's got um, Mary Stuart Masterson and Eric Stoltz in it. I can't find that on Blu-ray anywhere. If anybody knows if that's on Blu-ray anywhere in the, in the world, please let me know. If, you, if you've heard of it, of course. Now, I've heard all the rumours. I didn't watch Game of Thrones for years, and, and, and then I bought them all in one go. Um, this is another one. I haven't watched it yet, but I've got the first series. And I've got the final series. I've just got to fill in the blanks, basically. I won't watch it at all until I've got them all, of course. But I've heard amazing things about it. So let me know your comments. What do you think of Breaking Bad? Brick Mansions. I haven't watched it yet. Bride Wars. Just moving another pile. 
Bridesmaids. How an actress can take a dump in a sink and not laugh her ass off is beyond me. Next we have, I'll speed this up, Bridget Jones Diary. Bridget Jones, The Edge of Reason. And Bridget Jones Baby. No, I haven't seen any of them, but I'll get them on the basis of how good they're supposed to be. Bridge of Spice. I love Tom Hanks again. Brighton Rock. Not watched it. Right Back Mountain. Again, an award-winning film. Haven't watched it yet. But is Heath Ledger in it? Is it Heath Ledger? Yeah. Why did I think it wasn't? Broken Arrow. I love this film. John Travolta, you can't act to save your life, but there you go. Broken City. Mark Wahlberg. Mrs. Loves Him. There's not much I don't like about him. Brooklyn's Finest. And Brotherhood. As I said, there's Kiddohood, Adulthood, and Brotherhood. This is a trilogy. I think Brotherhood's the last in the trilogy. So I haven't watched them yet, but I do have all of them in my collection. Last pile. We have Brothers. I haven't watched it yet, but it's Jake Gyllenhaal. What, what can you say? The Bucket List. Jack Nicholson rocks. Morgan Freeman rocks. Bugs Life. Brilliant. Brilliant film. Bullet to the Head. Yeah, it's not one I put in the bin, I suppose. A Bunch of Amateurs. That's a, another British like, comedy saddie one. Bunny and the Bull. I have not got a clue. 50p, so I bought it. Next we have Bun Raku. Don't even understand the title, let alone the film. Buried. Burke and Hare. This is funny. Burlesque. Uh, 50p. Ooh, no drop them. Burn After Reading. I like, I like George Clooney, so we'll see how it is. I haven't watched it yet, though. Only three to go. The Burning, The Burning Plane, I only picked that up last week, but yeah, and The Butler. Now this is Forrest Whitaker, and he's supposed to be really good in this. I bought it on the basis of the trailer that I saw, still haven't watched it. I've got so many that I've got to get around to watching. As with everyone who collects the kind of amounts I do, you come in here and you look, and there's no end how you can choose what you want to watch. Now, that's my bees. I hope I, you haven't fell asleep because we're looking at 24 minutes at the moment. Um, if you wonder how I keep my collection one in order or actually know what I own, I use Blu-ray.com. Now, that, you can list it to your own country as long as they're on the little drop-down. Um, you can click on a film and then you click this little, like, film cell icon just under the actual uh, cover when you do that you can add it to your collection if you, if you log yourself in and register and everything it doesn't cost anything you then build your collection up on this website that way if you're doing any shopping or anything like that like the way I use it is I'm shopping and I think have I got that just type it in and it will come in in dark black on the listing that you have it or not it's the best way for me to check it also is available on your phone Available on your tablet, so when I'm out, I can just bang in onto my phone and check if I've got something. And measurably helps me. It's brought my doubles down a hell of a lot as well. Um, give that, give that one a try. And their release schedule is so up to date. They're one of the first people to find out about everything. Um, I'll end the video there for today. Uh, probably give me two, three days, and I will then post the C's and even maybe the D's. I'm trying to think how many they're going to be. I mean, looking at it, you're probably talking some season D's is probably about another 230. 
so I ain't got that much room on the table next to me here. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm now at 71 subscribers, believe it or not, which I, I'm just so ecstatic about. I've had over 600 views and I've been doing this just over a week, so you can imagine how happy I am. I appreciate everybody's support. Um, tell all your friends about it. Go, go befriend me on Facebook. Um, I implore people to go see my slipcover videos from earlier as well. I've had three people so far take me up on some of their slipcovers, but there's plenty more to go around. All you've got to do is go on Facebook, message me on that, and tell me what you want. I'll tell you what's available, and I only ask you to cover postage. That's all I've done with the other people as well. One of them, I, I'm actually taking it to him because he lives about four miles from me. Just means that they go to a home that appreciates it. That's all I'm doing. I'm not looking to make money out of this at all. All right. And the young Bruce Lee film that I showed at the end of one of my other videos, one of my doubles, nobody's asked for it yet. Go on Facebook, go on my Facebook page, Blu ray Bullet Brit, and say, I'd like that film, and I will send it to you for nothing. Not even postage paid. I will pay the postage. Every time I cock up and buy a double, I'm going to do that. So you always have to watch my videos right to the end because it'll be at the end that I'll tell you if I've made another cock up. Now I have at least 15, 16 films in the post right now. So my next pickup video will probably be in the next couple of days along with my C. So look forward to that. Look forward to your comments. I'm checking out, everyone who subscribes to me, I'm checking out your channels as well. You've got there's some amazing people out there. Some of your collections are knocking my socks off. Um, I just hope my videos aren't boring people. Now enjoy the rest of your evening. It's just gone five o'clock, so I'm going to get this uploaded now. Take care and have a good evening.